Happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase. The home team playing on their home field, and they want to be able to keep this advantage going. As we get ready for this one, Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, and I think you hit on it, Gus, the home field advantage, because these two teams obviously match up very well against each other. So as the home team, you're hoping that you can sort of incite your own fans and get that energy in the building, because in a game this close, that well could be the difference. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. Janikowski is ready to kick this one downfield and get this game started. Gets it to the 21. Johnson was there to bring him down. So now the quarterback comes onto the field and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. They'll set up shop at the 21. First down and 10. He's searching for a receiver. He avoids the rush by stepping up into the pocket. And with that, let's take a look at some of the key starters on offense, a group that hopes to put up some points in this one. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. All right, let's meet the starters on defense. And it's a unit led by cornerback Namdi Asamoah from Cal, who was a cerebral football player, and you love to see these guys. Yeah, definitely intelligent, thoughtful on the field. You can see that very little gets by him, but physically, he is just one of the most talented guys in the game right now. I don't believe much in the term shutdown corner, but it still applies to Namdi Asamoah. Jonathan Baldwin was his intended target. You bring a little pressure, and it impacts quarterbacks, and we saw it there. So, it's fourth down. The home team are lining up to punt this one away. Johnson fields the ball at the 44. That brings out the seventh-year man out of Auburn, quarterback Jason Campbell. They'll start at the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Inside give. The stop was made by Tommy Harris. And as we look at the key players on offense, leading the way is versatile running back Darren McFadden out of Arkansas. He is a physical specimen. Yeah, you don't always think of a guy that big running as fast as Darren McFadden does. Plus, he has a little wrinkle to his game. He's pretty good throwing the ball, so you always have to be on your toes as a defense. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Number 76 is guilty of moving early. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on their own 48. Here's the give. Hammered in the backfield. And so now let's take a look and see some of the key personnel on this defensive squad who will try to stop this offense from doing anything in this one. Yeah. 
Fourth down now after the incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during the last series. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there, and I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. Fourth down. The Raiders line up to punt. Starting back at his own 15. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Westbrook, the ball carrier. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. They have it at the 19. Here's a pass over the middle. A good job there by the quarterback to fit that ball in there with good coverage. Yeah, and the defensive back didn't really do anything wrong there. The quarterback just made a good throw. We'll see if he starts to play him a bit more aggressively, maybe initiate some contact and get that receiver out of his comfort zone going forward. From their own 39-yard line, Looks right, throws, and the pass falls incomplete. From their own 39-yard line. Surveys the field in heavy traffic. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line by number 55. And this is when it's tough to play offense. When it's third down and medium to long situation, generally you're going to face a blitz situation and your quarterback is now going to be under pressure and probably take a hit. Has a man short to his left. He's wrestled down right around the 48-yard line by Johnson. It's fourth down. The home team are lining up to punt it away. He will start from the 13. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but... Just no space to be found there. Give to the tailback. And the tackle was made by Will Peterson. Gets about four on the play. So they line up at the 18.
Haywood Bay gets the carry. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. Facing a third and eight situation. Gives it to the back. He didn't get back to the line. It's fourth down. The Raiders are lining up to punt this one away. Higgins will start running at the 39. He makes it out to the 49. Brown was there for the stop. He did a good job there, finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. Delayed handoff. He's tackled around the 45-yard line by Shaughnessy. And it's now second and six. Westbrook on the run. He's brought down around the 42-yard line by Groves. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Looked like someone might have jumped. The offense is moving in the wrong direction after that. For this offense to be effective, they have to stay on schedule. And when you get a penalty like that, it allows the defense to begin to bring some pressure. Dangerous situation for the offense. Dumps it short. He's dropped down around the 36-yard line by number 55. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Westbrook on the inside handoff. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. They line up at the 36. Here's a halfback. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line by Wilson. Here's a third and nine situation. Pass is short right side. It's an incomplete pass. Martin was the intended receiver. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. 
And it's so embarrassing to jump off sides for an offensive player because you know the snap count. But I swear there's so many things going through your mind, especially if the guy across from you is beating you in the head all day. <laughs> Sometimes you just forget. And the ball is down at the one. When you go for a punt to pin a team deep in their own territory, the last thing you want to have happen is to have it end up in the end zone for a touchback because it just is a letdown for the punt team. Now you've got them backed up inside the 10-yard line. Nice play. Bush gets the ball left side. Jason Taylor was there to bring him down. Pick up a four. Second and five coming up here. And the ball on their own five. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. And that will back this one up. Penalties like that sometimes will split a huddle. You'll get half the guys patting you on the back and saying that's okay, and the other half are looking at you like, you idiot. And we have a flag on the play. And that flag was thrown in the neighborhood of holding. It's second down and nine to go. And the ball backed up to their own two. Bush gets the call. And third down, five for the first. Has a man out to his right. And that will be a three and out for the offense after that incompletion. Yeah, that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. Fourth down. The Raiders ready to punt this one away. Higgins fields it at the 48. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much room. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. And he just throws this one out of bounds. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. They hand it off. Number 20 gets the call on the run. One yard gain on the play. They're looking at third and nine. Still looking for an open man. Catches it and hit instantly. Short pickup. The Raiders held them in check on that drive, and that's a good way to send a strong message to an offense that it is going to be a very physical game. So, it's fourth down. The home team line up to punt. He has it, but nowhere to go. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. 
They'll go to work at the 12. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Here's a handoff left side. The stop was made by Will Peterson. Nice running for a gain of six. And just about four yards away here on second down. Up the middle. He's wrestled down right around the 18-yard line by Hillenmeyer. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Here comes the heat. So no luck for the offense on that drive as they'll go three and out. The key to playing defense is getting good penetration. If you can make that quarterback move around sometimes, even if you don't get to him like they did on that play, you can still disrupt an offense. Fourth down. The Raiders are lining up to punt it away. We're still locked up at zero as we head to the second quarter. The home team, nothing. The Raiders, nothing. Picks it up at the 46. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Pennington flips it right. Uses the stiff arm, but the defender is still able to drop it. Brian Westbrook can see the field so well, and as a runner, you need to have that kind of vision to be successful. And they line up at the 28. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Offense. Well, First the down. defense was out there battling on that one, but that was exactly the kind of break this offense needed. So they'll face a 1st and 15 after the penalty. Throws to his left. And he drops the short pick. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down now with a long 15 to go. Short throw to the right. Number 10 has his pass ball incomplete. Third down. That'll bring up third down and 15. Go! 
Westbrook again. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. This will be a 41-yard try. The kick is good. Makes the long one with room to spare. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Bueller will be kicking off. Ford is back to receive the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And the tackle was made by Bentley. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll start this drive at the 19. First down and 10. Good coverage downfield. Can't hang on. It's knocked loose. Second down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. They give it off here. Ken Hamlin was there for the stop. Gains nine. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Offense. And Still it will come back. Down. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. Searching for an open man. Tip pass, and it's incomplete. Fourth down now after the incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during the last series. Well, and there is some cumulative effect of those three-and-out series because they do tend to wear out your defense, which has to come right back out on the field now. It's fourth down. The Raiders lining up to punt. On the return, it's loose! It's picked up! I just get the feeling he was trying to make too much happen out there. Sometimes you just get the ball, get what you can, and get on the ground. You cannot afford to cough it up there. They'll set up shop at the 33. First down, 10 to go. They'll work the right side. The stop was made by Derek Burgess. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. It's first and 10. And the pigskin at the 16. Looks right. Throws. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw anytime, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Yeah. 
They have the ball at the 16. Bush gets another handoff. Jason Taylor was there to bring him down. They pick up two yards. So it is third and eight. And the Rock sits on the 14. Flips it out short to his left. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. They call on the field goal unit. So the score now, the Raiders. Three, the home team. Three. Janikowski gets ready to kick it away. Higgins stands back to field the kick. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. And the tackle was made by Howard. They'll start at the 17-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Looking for a man. He's dropped down right around the 20-yard line by Johnson. Martin picks up about three with the catch. They're looking at a second and seven. Ball is on the 20. Gives it off. Dropped behind the line. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. Here they go. Third down and eight. Dumps it short. Another catch on this drive. Chad Pennington is one of the most discussed players in the NFL when it comes down to just pure ability. And yet, year after year, we see him making big plays for his offense. And we'll have a first down and 10. They're on their own 35. Pennington hands off on the delay. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line by number 55. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. They hand it off again. He lost yardage on the play. You know, listen, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in their way. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. 
A lot of pressure on those third down situations. The defender trying to make a good play gets a little overly aggressive, and now it's first down. Checks down to the short pass. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked off. Not a good decision at all there. It's fourth down. The home team ready to putt this one away. Johnson fields it at the 22. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Campbell hands it off. The stop was made by Derek Burgess. Racks up seven tough yards. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Cartwright on the handoff. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line by King. First down and 10. Campbell hands it off. J.J. Watt was there for the stop. And that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. It's a second and eight situation now. Ball on their own 44. Steps and throws to the left side. Miller was the intended receiver. The intended receiver on the play. And that brings up third down and eight yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Passes short right side. And he can't hang on in heavy traffic. Schillens was his intended target. Fourth down. The Raiders line up to punt. Fields it, and he's hit immediately. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there, or he's going to get killed. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 15. Hands it to the back. He doesn't get back to the line. There's a flag on the play. And that flag was thrown in the neighborhood of holding. And first down once again, but they'll be backed up following the penalty. Pennington hands it off straight ahead. He's brought down around the 23-yard line by Branch.
They'll need about three yards here on second down. Fullback handoff. He's wrestled down around the 24-yard line by Williams. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. They'll throw for the first. Short pass to his left. Too close to call. Here comes the chain game. It was enough to move the chains. And really, as an offense, what you want to try to do is stay on the field as long as possible. As long as your defense is on the bench, that other team's offense is on the bench as well. They might have missed time to snap on that one. Vincent is guilty of moving early. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. They're going for the home run. So it's now first and ten after the big pass play. Passes out to the left. We talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. Just so hard to defend. It's first and ten. Pennington with the pitch, and he'll lose yardage on the play. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. So it's second down, 14 yards for the first. Ball on the 26. And we're at the two-minute warning. The NFL on EA Sports will continue after this word from your local station. Second down and a long 14 here. And we're at the two-minute warning. Pennington gives it up the middle. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Nine-yard pickup. We've got a third and six. Ball's on the 17-yard line. Here's the halfback. He didn't get back to the line. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage.
The field goal unit is on the field. And the kick is good. So after that kick, the score is now the home team. Six, the Raiders. Three. The home team is just about ready to kick this one away. Johnson is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Bentley was there to bring him down. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Throws the deep pass. Murphy was the intended receiver on the play. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Here's the pass. Deep ball to the right side. And the tackle was made by Ken Hamlin. This guy's arm is really something, isn't it? He's not afraid to make any throw at any time. Good gain through the air will set them up with another first down and 10. Fires a strike to the right. He makes another catch. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. And we'll have a first down and 10. The ball is on the 12-yard line. Passes out to his right. Ford was the intended receiver. Eleven yards out. Dumps it out right. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. Yes, he did make the catch. About as close as you can get right there. A shoelace, maybe just one cleat down. That's all it takes in this game. He's going to be tackled for a loss. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense is big men. They won the battle.
They call on the field goal unit. It's up, and it's good. So that will make the score the Raiders. Six, the home team. Six. Oakland gets ready to kick it away. Higgins stands back to field the kick. And he'll return it from way back at the three. He makes it to the 23-yard line. Number 35 was there for the stop. They'll set up shop at the 23-yard line. First down and 10. Here's a screen pass. Hit and drop behind the line. Westbrook was his intended target. Second down, 15 yards for the first. They have the ball on their own 18. Someone jumped early down there. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Pennington with the give. He's dropped for a loss. So they'll go into the locker room with the score even. Oakland will get it first here in the second half. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. Donald Butler was there to bring him down. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Has a man out to his right. Jason Campbell has a reputation as a bit of a wild thrower. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe it looks like he's almost aiming the ball. If he just relaxes and just goes back to the fundamentals of his mechanics, I think he'd be fine. They go from their own 26-yard line. Campbell hands off on the delay. And he's tackled right around the 34-yard line by Hillenmeyer. Eight eight. 
That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. Campbell pitches out to the left. Got away! And he's got space! He's tackled at about the 43-yard line by Dowdy. It's first and ten. Campbell, hands off. Hammered in the backfield. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. He makes it to the 42. J.J. Watt was there for the stop. They'll line up again on third down. He's looking down the middle. Throws. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Fourth down. The Raiders lining up to punt. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Has a man to his right. Martin was the intended receiver on the play. on their own 20-yard line. Looks right, throws. Martin was the intended receiver. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. Ball is on the 20. Goes through his progression. A deep strike over the middle. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Well, and there is some cumulative effect of those three and out series because they do tend to wear out your defense which has to come right back out on the field now. It's fourth down. The home team are lining up to punt it away.
Johnson takes it at the 43. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. They'll start at the 44-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. They go with the run. The stop was made by Ken Hamlin. A pickup of five. And just about four yards away here on second down. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just blowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Facing a third and eight situation. Ball on their own, 45. And he'll lose yardage on the play. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. It's fourth down. The Raiders are lining up to punt this one away. Gets the ball at the 14-yard line. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. I'm sure the rainy conditions don't help the situation. The offense will take over at the 17-yard line. First down and 10. Pennington with the toss. He's wrestled down right around the 20-yard line by number 35. They take over at the 20. Westbrook will run it again. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. First down, 10 to go. So the ball on their own, 30. Passes out to the left. He's brought down at about the 47-yard line by route. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. It's first and ten. Flips it out short. Makes a spectacular one-handed grab. The threat of the run is always going to make the play pass more effective, forcing them to respect the run, and that will allow things to open up downfield. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. 
Well, no excuse there. The offensive line obviously knows the snap count, but I suppose it's easy to lose concentration with one of those big defensive linemen in your face. Moore gets the ball. They tackle him for a loss. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Third down, 12 yards to the first. They're going for the home run. Deflected and broken up. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Fourth down. The home team line up to punt. He will start from the 13. And the tackle was made by Tony Richardson. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. The offense will start at the 17. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Fires a laser down the middle. And from their own 34-yard line. Campbell with the give. Jason Taylor was there to bring him down. It's now second and nine. They're on their own 35. Short throw to the left. The stop was made by Jason Taylor. Picks up about maybe four yards with the catch. Third down now, five yards to go. Ball on their own, 39. Fires a strike to the right. The punter will likely head onto the field after they failed to convert on third down. So... It's fourth down. The Raiders ready to punt this one away. Starting back at his own 15. I'm thinking he should have fair caught that one. He was hit almost immediately after bringing that one in. Maybe he was thinking that the punter had outkicked his coverage. Eh, wrong. They'll get the ball here at the 19. And we'll have a first down and 10. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Offense. I think those are just embarrassing. You go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. Pennington gives it up the middle. 
He's dropped down around the 18-yard line by Shaughnessy. So they line up at the 18. Searching for an open man. And he drops the short pick. It's third down and 11 to go. Throws to his right. The Raiders came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. Fourth down. The home team are lining up to punt it away. Ford will take it at the 35. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space... He can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. McFadden takes a handoff. It's second down and eight to go. McFadden takes it up the middle. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line by Dowdy. First down and 10. So the ball on the 49. Running out of time. It's a quarterback sack. Another sack by the defense. And you have to expect that this pressure, Chris, they're generating is going to have an effect on the way he plays. Yeah, absolutely, Gus. This guy is known for being a mobile quarterback. So don't be surprised if we see him try to tuck and run next time they get some pressure on him in the backfield. Obvious passing situation here on second and long. Has a man out to his right. Gain of 16 on the play. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Decides to run for it. Not sure if he reached it, they'll measure. Yes, he got there. First down. You hear it all the time that this is a game of inches, but what I really like to watch is the battle for those inches. That time, the battle goes to the receiver. Gives it up the gut. Derek Burgess was there for the stop. Yeah. 
That's the end of three, and get ready for an action-packed fourth quarter with this game all tied up. Second down and eight here. Ball on the 36. Good coverage downfield. He's tackled around the 25-yard line by King. First down, 10 to go at the 25. Dumps it out right. Number eight goes into play. It's now second down, 10 yards to go at the 25. McFadden gets another handoff, and the tackle was made by Derek Burgess. They'll line up again on third down. Short throw to the right. Has it on the sideline, but was he inbound? The officials will huddle. Yes, he did make the catch. So the kick team on to try this 37-yarder. Great hands, great footwork. That was really well done. He splits the uprights. And with that, the score is the Raiders. Nine, the home team. Six. Sebastian Janikowski looks ready to kick it away. Davis is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Mitchell was there to bring him down. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. It's first and ten. Short pass to his left. Back will pass. That's a fumble. And the defense has it. Boy, and that's a killer right there. You're down just one score. You have a chance to get right back in the football game, and you give it up. They'll set up shop at the 24-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They hand it off. The stop was made by Jason Taylor. Taylor is playing with some intensity out there. He's been in on five tackles so far. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. He lets it go, but pays a price with a monster hit. 
Darius Hayward Bay was his intended target. Yeah, it wasn't close because the big guy was giving him a whack just as he let that one go. He was really under some pressure that time. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Steps and throws to the left side. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. This will be a 34-yard field goal attempt. The kick is good. So that will make the score the Raiders 12, the home team 6. Sebastian Janikowski will be kicking off. Davis stands back to field the kick. And he gets the ball at the five. He makes it out to the 28. Mitchell was there for the stop. The offense will take over at the 28-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Second down, 11 yards for first. Moore takes it right side. This is a game he'll want to forget about. He's faced a wall almost every time he's gotten the rock. Big down for the offense as they try to make up a deficit here in the fourth quarter. Delayed handoff. It appears to be short. And it's a quick three and out. And three and outs are embarrassing for an offense. When you go out there and run three plays and have to go jogging back to your sideline, those defensive guys, they aren't too happy. It's fourth down. The home team lining up to punt. Johnson takes it at the 25. Tony Richardson was there to bring him down. It appears we have an injured player on the field.
They'll take over at the 30. First down and 10. And he'll lose yardage on the play. The offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. From their own 29-yard line. Here's the give. Hammered in the backfield. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from. But the danger in that is you run away from him, and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. Third down and 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 28. Bush on the handoff. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. It's fourth down. The Raiders line up to punt. Higgins starts running at the 32. And the tackle was made by number 35. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. The pocket collapsing. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. Now in a second and long following the sack. He's going to his right. Throws. It's intercepted. And I understand that you have to play for a touchdown in this situation. You have to try to push the ball down the field. But you have to remain patient. You can't try and force it in there. And that's what he did there. First down. Ten to go. They spot it at the 42. Dumps it out left. He's brought down right around the 38-yard line by Jackson. Reese picks up about maybe four yards with the catch. Brings up second down and six yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Looked like someone might have jumped. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. McFadden on the draw. The stop was made. Five-yard pickup.
It's now third and six. It's a loose ball. The home team has the football. Oh, you just can't have a bigger mistake than that. You're in complete control of the ball game. You have possession, and you give it right back to them. His teammates all say he was down before losing the ball. What do you think? Well, I think it'd be a little strange for a teammate to say that they thought you fumbled. <laughs> so this is one of those that even if you're lying, you're going to try and back up your teammate here. What a saving play. They will reverse the call on this fumble. You know, it's just not easy to see when the runner is down. And that time, the officials took their time, able to take a second look, and they got it right. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. And that was an excellent chess move by their special teams. Yeah, I wouldn't call it checkmate just yet, though. You know, they'll probably have a couple more chances to get down the field and try and get back in the game, but and it sure would have been a lot easier if they hadn't been buried inside their own 20-yard line. Flips it out short to his left. That one goes for a loss of about five. You got to give the defense a lot of credit on that one. They made a little correction at the line of scrimmage, and they had that play pegged right from the start. Second down and 15 to go. Fires a laser down the middle. He's wrestled down at about the 47-yard line by Branch. So it's first down, following the big gain through the air. Pennington hands it off straight ahead. And the tackle was made by Lamar Houston. I expected a pass there, Chris. Well, I understand you don't want to get completely one-dimensional, but at some point you have to crank it up and try and make some plays, and I think that time has passed. They line up at the 43. This one might have been a false start on the offense. False start. Let's get the call. Offense. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. Moore takes it up the middle. He's tackled around the 47-yard line by Wembley. Passing situation for the offense here on third down and long. Here's a pass over the middle. He makes another catch. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line by Huff. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Has a man short to his left. 
He's dropped down around the 21-yard line by number 31. When you're facing a blitz, you're forced to make a quick read. He read it right and got good yardage out of it. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Pennington gives it up the middle. And for a defense in those short yardage situations, more often than not, you're going to give up the first down, but you certainly don't want to allow them to break out the big one. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Two minutes left in the ball game. Passes out to the left. Complete. He hasn't missed yet on this drive. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection, and anytime that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Four yards will get them in for the score. Moore gets the ball left side. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. It looks like he was able to bring it down in bounds. They'll discuss it. They're not going to give it to him. I don't care who you're talking about. That was a tough catch for anybody in this league. Searching for an open man. Scrambles away from defenders. He's brought down around the two-yard line by Shaughnessy. Campbell can hear the crowd in the end zone seats from this starting field position. Bush on the give. Tommy Harris was there for the stop. They'll need about three yards here on second down. He puts it on the ground. Fumble. And the defense is going to come up with it. What a huge turnaround that is in a one possession game. What a mistake. Likely four down territory here on first down and goal. A field goal won't do them any good. They need to find the end zone on this drive. Pennington hands it off. He's wrestled down right around the six yard line by Wembley. Still looking for an open man. Number 88 was his intended target.
Critical third and goal situation. It'll be up to the defense to stop him. Short pass to his left. He's tackled just outside the goal line by route. Johnson looks to be a bit injured after that one. So a yard out, the coach will have to leave the offense out on the field here on fourth down and goal. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Offense. I think those are just embarrassing. I, you go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it, I'm um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. So they'll keep the offense out there for this fourth and goal situation. They need six for the score. Look out, heavy pressure on him. He's dropped. What a play on fourth down. And we'll have a first down in 10. The give to the tailback. The stop was made by Tommy Harris. Second and seven situation here. They give it off here. Hit and drop behind the line. Bentley with the takedown again. That's his fifth tackle of the game. Third down, seven yards to go. He takes a knee. Fourth down. The Raiders lining up to punt. Higgins gets it at the 41. Wilson was there to bring him down.
That wraps up this one. We have highlights next, so stick around. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.